what can I possibly say about Pakistan that hasn't already been said about COVID or the Hindenburg or Will Smith at the Oscars? We've all heard about Pakistan's mobs of brainwashed morons dismembering and stoning and burning anyone who is simply accused of criticizing that child molesting, murdering rapist we call the most obvious false prophet in history. But now it's gotten even worse in Pakistan because now you can commit blasphemy in someone's dream. And if people hear that you've committed blasphemy in someone's dream, they'll slit your throat in the name of Allah. AFP reports. A teacher at an all girls religious school was killed by a woman colleague and two students who accused her of blasphemy, Pakistan police said Wednesday, the latest murder in the country related to the hugely sensitive issue. Few issues in Pakistan are as galvanizing as blasphemy, and even the slightest suggestion of an insult to Islam can supercharge protests and incite lynchings. The latest incident took place Tuesday in Dera Ismail Khan in the country's ultra-conservative northwestern Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province that borders Afghanistan. This province is on the border of Pakistan and Afghanistan. It's like being wedged between smallpox and the bubonic plague. Police said two students and a teacher ambushed Safura Bibi at the main gate of the school and attacked her with a knife and stick. She died after her throat was slit. Police official Sagir Ahmed told AFP, This is what happens when you derive your moral code from the insane ramblings of an illiterate 7th century Arabian caravan robber. By the way, jihadis, if you have a problem with me saying that about your fake prophet, come and get me. Or is your God only God in Sharia-compliant hellholes? The main suspect is a colleague who planned the crime with two nieces studying at the Jamia Islamia Falahul Binat school, police said. The girls told police a relative had dreamt the dead woman had committed blasphemy against the Prophet Muhammad, officers said, adding they were also investigating if the main suspect, Umrah Aman, had a personal grudge. Azim Khan, another police official, confirmed the details. Hey, jihadis, I just had a dream. I had a dream about your fake prophet burning in hell for convincing you that the greatest thing you can do in life is to slaughter people in the name of Allah so that you can spend eternity deflowering virgins in paradise. Known as madrasas, religious schools have long served as vital lifelines for millions of impoverished children in Pakistan, where social services are chronically underfunded. But critics say students can be brainwashed by hardline clerics who prize rote learning of the Quran over core subjects such as maths and science. You don't say. That's strange. Here in the West, we are constantly told that the Quran is a book of peace, tolerance, and candy-coated raindrops. Shouldn't memorizing the Quran make students more peaceful, more tolerant, and much sweeter because of all the candy-coated raindrops? You know, jihadis of the world, you keep demanding that we respect your prophet. Let me be frank with you. We will never take your demands for respect seriously. The bare minimum requirement for us to even think about showing the slightest bit of respect for your fake prophet if only to avoid hurting your precious feelings, would be for him not to turn you into homicidal maniacs. When your fake prophet turns you into homicidal maniacs, respect goes bye-bye. Think about it. The entire world is making fun of Will Smith right now because he slapped a comedian for making a joke about his wife's hair. Everyone's mocking him over a slap. Imagine if Will Smith had instead convinced a bunch of his fans to brutally murder anyone who makes fun of his wife's hair. What if Will Smith fans murdered a woman because one of them had a dream about the woman making fun of Jada Smith's hair? Would this make us respect Will Smith or his wife's hair? No chance. If I've said it once, I've said it 9,000 times. If you want people to respect your prophet, find a better prophet, preferably one who wasn't a child molesting, murdering rapist.
is a power of religion, there's a reason to it. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah?